EA Sports. It's in the game. I'm Jim Edmonds from St. Louis Cardinals, and I'm in the game. MVP Baseball 2005. Here we are at Bank One Ballpark. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper with Mike Kruko. And again, it looks like a great evening for a ball game. Well, it really does, Kuyper. And I'm anxious to get this one started. And now, here's tonight's starting pitcher, Brandon Webb. Welcome to an exhibition game that features the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Here's the game's first batter, Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy Rollins. He rolls one out towards short. One down. Next up, Placido Polanco. He gets strike one. Strike call, good pitch. This guy usually pitches deep into the game whenever he starts. You will not see him tire out very often. It's a great day to watch some baseball. Perfect weather. Two ball, two strike count. He was hoping the batter would go fishing at the pitch out of the zone. He crushes it. It bounces off the wall. He goes in standing with a double. That was not an easy pitch to hit, but he was able to leg out a double. And the pitch. He sends this pitch to left. Gonzalez will get there. He catches the ball for the out. Hey, Alfield, play deep. Up next, Jim Tomey. Here's a left-handed batter who locks in when he's facing right-handed pitching. He hits it up the middle. And the first run of the game crosses home plate. Well, he's able to keep his hands back just a little bit longer, and boom, gets good wood on that slide ball. This guy here has moderate success against right-handed pitching. He comes up a little bit short, gathers it in with his glove, a defensive lapse, and an error given on the play. He let that ball play him. Bad play. Steps in it to play. One ball and no strikes. He loves throwing that sinker. It's his best pitch. We'll be seeing the batter rounding third hard on a hit to left field. He does not have a strong arm out there. Two balls and one strike. And a pitch high. He tried to get the hitter to chase one out of the zone, but now he has to come back and he's got to throw a strike. The bases are juiced with the walk. Hey, that was a great at bat, partner. He wouldn't budge and just worked the pitcher for a walk. Next at the plate, Mike Lieberthal. This guy's dangerous in the batter's box. Matter of fact, he's dangerous in the on deck circle. Hit towards the shortstop. That'll do it for the Phillies in the first inning. Here's the lineup the manager is sending out. Starting on the hill for the visitors, Randy Wolf. Here's how the defense is set up. Now the 
The next batter is Luis Torero. This righty is not an exceptional contact hitter. But he's there in time for the catch. Good hustle to get to that ball. And then a better job to reel it this glove for the out. Now batting Royce Clayton. Nope, missed for a ball. He was trying to tempt the batter to chase a pitch right there. Hit towards the shortstop. Two outs. Stepping in, Luis Gonzalez. You'd be hard pressed to find many left handed batters who outperform this guy when it comes to hitting left handers. Misses for a ball. That was a purpose pitch. A change up off the plate, hoping the batter would go chase him. That'll do it for the Diamondback in the first. After one inning, the score is one to nothing. Lofton is the next batter. He might be able to beat out a butt if he takes a look at the infield. He sends it foul to the right. He hits it down the line. Lands fair for a hit. Runner in scoring position now with no outs after a leadoff double. That's a tough hit right there. Pitch inside of the opposite field. Four. Now Digging in, Randy Wolf. Fakes the bunt. Misses for a ball. This pitcher has two pitches that are superior to his others. Tried to paint the outside corner, but missed away. Okay, runners are taught that if you're on second and a ball is hit behind you, bury your head and run for third. Let's see if the batter can deliver on that ground ball. Don't know why he was trying to get him to chase one there. Dummies a bunt. Three and one. This guy's got one of the best breaking balls in the league. He looked like he was going to bunt, but pulled back. Got behind early in the count and never caught up and surrenders the walk. Next up, Jimmy Rollins. Look for the base runner to challenge on a ball hit to left field. His arm is not that strong. Throws it in there for a call strike. That curveball is most effective when the pitcher's throwing all of his pitches over the plate. High heat misses for a ball. This guy's a strikeout pitcher, pure and simple. And the count is one and two. They get the force at second. And that's a double play. Cut that double play was smooth as silk. Just like they practice it, big boy. Up next, Placido Polanco. This dude has a bevy of pitches in his arsenal. Sinker stays high for a ball. Slider misses in. Kipe, with that first baseman holding the runner on, there's a big hole in the right side of the infield. He's got to be thinking about that with the hit and run. Rollins is taking off. Pulls a line drive. Another bad play, and the score determines another error. Hey, partner, looked to me like the fielder lollygagged in that ball and didn't feel it with any urgency. That caused the error. Here's Bobby Abreu. This one's going to fall in for a base hit. He's around third. And a run scores. And the inning keeps on rolling with that hit and RBI. The next batter is Jim Tomey.
gets a strike high in the strike zone. This guy's got a turbo sinker working today. Really getting that ball down nicely. Pitcher threw a poor slider right there, and the batter had no choice but to let it go by. He pulls it to the right side. And the delivery. Line shot the other way. Out number three, one man left on base. Going into the bottom of the second, Philadelphia leads by two. Loss comes to the plate. Sends a shallow fly ball to the right side. He leads off the inning with a single. What a good at bat right there. He knew what he was looking for, got it, and executed on it. And here's the delivery. Out of the zone, that's a ball. No outs and a runner on first. He gets that one in for a strike. That is pinpoint control right there. The catcher set a target on the corner, and the pitcher just hammered it for a strike. This guy usually pitches deep into the game whenever he starts. You will not see him tire out very often. That guy never had a chance. The pitcher had him eaten right out of his hand. Next at the plate, Chad Tracy. Nope, missed for a ball. This pitcher has three pitches he can throw for strikes, making things really tough for the hitter. A liner to the third baseman. Kai, this quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. Coming to the plate, Scott Hairston. And a strike. Two outs. He really painted the black with that changeup partner, and he got the swing and strike. He leaps and makes the catch for the out. After two innings, the score is two to nothing. Bell digs in at the plate. Kai P has nothing on the ball. Now. That's a ground ball hit to the second baseman, and he's out. That'll bring up Pat Burrell. Out on the play. Webb made a nice throw right there, straight and right on the target. And into right field. He retires the side in order. Heading into the bottom of the third, the score is two to nothing. Next up, Robbie Hammock. First pitch. Wolf makes the routine catch. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. Oh, he wants to get this guy. No way you want to give up a hit to your counterpart. His pitch list consists of a four-seam fastball, a good curveball, and an average slider. There's a drive, headed way back, and it's gone! Well, the batter knew as soon as he hit the ball, he wasn't going to get caught. What an impressive swing of the bat. in Luis Torero. Wolf delivers out of the zone and it's 1-0. Oh. That breaking ball didn't do a thing. He's got to make some adjustments on that. They get the out. 
He really doesn't make a very good throw here, but lucky for him, his teammate picks him up and makes a play out of it. Here's Royce Clayton. First pitch. And the breaking ball misses 1 0. His number one pitch is his fastball. Takes a pitch high, one ball and no strikes. And he's on first with a walk. Hey, that's not what he wanted there. He threw a lot of pitches, and he has a runner at first to show for it. Gonzalez takes his turn at bat. High strike. Now there's a case of a guy making a good pitch. He fooled the batter, and the batter could not do a thing. He tried to hit the black with that pitch, but the batter watched the sail just off the corner of the plate. Almost got it. He's on first with a single. That was a shot. Good thing he didn't hit anybody. He could have taken an infielder's arm right off. at the plate, oh. Troy Gloss. Kuyper looks for them to wave that runner home if this ball hit the center. That center fielder does not throw many guys out at home. Threw one out of the zone, but the fish weren't biting. There's a pitch high, 2 and up. And that's hit into right center field. The side is retired with two men left on base. With three innings played, Arizona trails by one. Up next with a double today, Kenny Lofton. One oh count. He snow cones it for the out. Hey, there's a good example of that infielder taking away a base hit on a line drive. Good play. Wolf takes that one for ball one. Taken for a ball. Pitch inside. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Hitters count three and one. Oh, I'm surprised the batter wasn't all over that delivery. It seemed like a perfect pitch to just crush. He's aboard with a one-out double. Good swing, good hustle, and a little luck contributed to that extra base hit. Super job. Now batting, now batting Jimmy, Jimmy Rollins. Rollins. Pitch taken for a ball. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. He turns on it and hits a fly ball to right. Nice catch by Green. Get a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Digging in, Placido Polanco. Taken for a ball. A lot of these pitchers are out of the strike zone. Looks like they're trying to set up the opposing batters. Pull to the left side. That'll do it for the Phillies in the fourth. Heading into the bottom of the inning, Philadelphia leads by one. That'll bring up Sean Green. Kaipa, I'm not so sure he'd hit that one even if he would have swung at it. That's a strikeout on three pitches. Coming to the plate, Chad Tracy. 
It's hit out towards short. Two outs. Rollins made a nice throw right there, straight and right on the target. The next batter is Scott Hairston. On the ground, he finds the hole on the right side. He's on first with a hit. He was able to get the job done there. That could really be a shot in the arm. Okay, he's going to feed this guy crumbs because the pitcher's hitting next. Rollins runs it down. After four, the Phillies lead by one. Tonight's game is brought to you by EA Sports. EA Sports, it's in the game. You better not let this guy get on base. He will run you to death. He's got super wheels. Abreu sends it out to center. Nice catch by Torero. Kaip, he didn't get all that ball. The fielder strolled over, got under it, made an easy play. Tomey takes low a ball. Last season, he batted 274 with 42 home run. He jacked that one way back and gone. I thought the thing was going to leave the yard altogether. What a shot. Here's David Bell. That'll be a base hit. That's a base hit with one out. Another hit given up by Webb. This one's going to land in the outfield for a hit. He's on first with a base hit. That's another hit given up by Webb. Stepping in, Mike Lieberthal. Takes a pitch high. That sinker was so far out of the zone, the batter didn't even flinch. Hit on the ground. He finds the hole on the left side. He reaches with a base hit. Well, the sinker's not doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, he paid an ugly price right there. The Diamondbacks have started up their bullpen. Stepping in, one for two, Kenny Lofton. You better not let this guy get on base. He will run you to death. He's got super wheels. Kaipa, all he's got to do right now is drive that ball to the outfield, pick up that runner from third. One and one, the count. He's going back. At the track, the wall caught on the warning track. The runner crosses the plate on the sacrifice fly. You know, I don't think he went up there thinking sack fly, but he got one and it brought home a run. And to me, that's a successful at bat. And that's another run surrendered by Webb. Now, Stepping in with a double already, Randy Wolf. It's pretty simple with this pitcher. He can't hit. There's a slow roller to second. That's the third out with one man left on second. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the score is four to one. Next at the plate, Brandon Webb. On the ground. Got him. Choate is getting himself ready out in the bullpen. Up 
next, Luis Torero. This past season, he hit 245 with four long balls and 14 runs batted in. That's off the catcher. He's hanging in there. He's trying to chase it down and left. He's aboard with a one-out single. Clayton will hit next. Over to first with the pickoff throw. The pitch is pulled out to the left side. He reaches with a single. That's the sixth hit allowed by Wolf. Stepping in one for two, Luis Gonzalez. Get on the ground to the right side. He got it. Great leaping catch to take away a hit. He was able to make a play on that line drive because he got a good read of the ball when it came off the bat. Great reflexes there, big boy. The pitch. Up the middle. And he's safe. That was close. And the runner scores on that two out hit. Hey, base running's like everything else. You've got to be anticipating to make the play. The runner on second anticipated a single. He got it. And bang, the guy was able to score. That was sweet. Hit to the left side. Got him for the out. After five innings, the score is four to two. Rollins is next at the plate. Shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Out of play. The Diamondbacks have some action in their pen. There's a line drive. Stepping in with a double already, Placido Polanco. That missed up. Ball. Taken for a ball. Pitch taken for a ball. Close pitch right there, but the batter let it go by, and the umpire called it a ball. And he takes the walk. Kai, it looks to me like he pitched around him. The unintentional, intentional walk. That'll bring up Bobby Abreu. Here's a guy you don't want on base because he can fly. Digging in, Jim Tomey. Sharply hit to the shortstop. That'll do it for the Phillies in the sixth. Heading into the bottom of the inning, Philadelphia leads by two. Now batting, Chad Tracy. That one splits the outfielder. Runner in scoring position now with no outs after a leadoff double. Stepping in, Scott Hairston. He sends this pitch to left. Burrow should have no problem. The ball settles into his glove for the out. The Phillies have a lefty throwing in the bullpen. Hammock comes to the plate. He hits it up the middle. He's rounding third. A run crosses the plate. In fact, these guys have really been aggressive on the bases all game long. 
And that's just another example of a great base running play to be able to score from second on the single. Here's Alex Sintron. He's nailed by the pitch, and he'll walk on down to first. Well, if they didn't know before, they know now. When you step in the box against this guy, you better tiptoe in. You dig in, he'll knock you down. Stepping in one for three, Luis Torero. And the catch is made for the out. The Phillies have activated the bullpen. Stepping in, one for two, Royce Clayton. Takes a pitch just off the plate, one and oh. Judging by the velocity of his fastball, the pitcher may be getting tired. Third out, two men stranded. Well, the hitter just put too much loft on that ball, partner, giving the fielder ample time to stroll over and make the out. With six innings played, the score is four to three. This is a good move, Kai, because right-handed hitters have some trouble picking up off-speed pitches from right-handed pitchers. Bell watches a ball high. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. One and one. And the count is two and one. It's hit to the left side. Gathers it in with his glove, and he's out at first base. Up next, Pat Burrell. That one's foul, but it looks like there's some room. In foul territory, makes the catch. Stepping in one for three, Mike Lieberthal. Lifts one to right. But he's there. I didn't think he had a chance, but this guy's one of the best in the league. Great play. Up on your feet. It's time now for the seventh inning stretch. Next at the plate, Luis Gonzalez. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. The corners are playing the lines. Stepping to the plate with two singles already, Troy Gloss. In the hole, he comes up with it. Safe on the play. Digging in, Sean Green. He belts this one. Going back. Way back. And it bounces up against the wall. That'll be extra bases. The key to that play there was that the runners are now on second and third. And that's when a base hit should score both of them. Field is going to play in. Stepping in one for three, Chad Tracy. Burrow puts it away. The tying run comes home. Hit that ball just deep enough to score the run. That's a good A-B. That's the fourth run allowed by Wolf. Next with a single already this game, Scott Hairston. 
And a breaking ball. Close pitch right there, but the batter let the curveball go by, and the umpire called it a ball. Takes a tailing fastball. Swings and misses. That curveball is most effective when the pitcher's throwing all of his pitches over the plate. Got him, and he'll take first base. Well, I know that guy didn't like getting hit, but the best way to retaliate now is to score a run. The Phillies turn it over to the pen. Here's the left-handed reliever, Riel Cormier. The next batter is Robbie Hammock. He gets behind him early. He can afford to lose him here with the pitcher on deck. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Swing and a miss. One and two. The pitcher threw one right out of the strike zone, and sure enough, the batter went right after it. And that's the final out of the inning with two men stranded. After seven, this contest is tied. Today's game is brought to you by EA Sports. EA Sports, it's in the game. Well, this guy's speed always makes him a threat to punt for a hit. Keep your eyes peeled, big boy. Cop, he had to been looking for another pitch. That looked really hittable. Lofton takes low a ball. It's hit out to center. What a play! Now he put a good swing on it, but the ball hung around the air a little too long, and the fielder made the play. The Phillies have someone warming up in the bullpen. The corners are guarding the lines. Stepping in, Todd Pratt. Went fishing and came up empty. And I love it when a pitcher just rears back and lets it rip. He sends this pitch to center. Torero will get there. The Diamondbacks have a right-hander up in the bullpen. The first and third basemen are hugging the lines. Now batting Jimmy Rollins. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. That changeup could have been called either way, but it went the batter's favor. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. Two balls in one strike. That was a purpose pitch. A changeup off the plate, hoping the batter would go chase him. In tight. That was a purpose pitch. A changeup off the plate, hoping the batter would go chase him. And now it's a full count. Swing and a miss, and he'll take a seat. After seven and a half, this contest is tied. Pinch hit situation here with the righty coming in to face the left handed pitcher. McCracken gets ahead one ball and no strikes. In this situation, it may be wise for the skipper to give up an out and drop down a bunt. The hitter wasn't even tempted to swing at that pitch. It was so far out of the strike zone. He belts it way back, way back, and gone! There was no doubt about that. You can see that thing was out of here the second he hit the bat.
The Diamondbacks are warming some relievers in the bullpen. The corners are close to the line. Up next with a single already this game, Luis Torero. Pitch misses. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Change it, just float it in there. Misses outside. He goes out to right. There's another single. Hey, he just jumps all over the hanger and hits it right over the infield. Coming to the plate, Royce Clayton. Nobody out. One ball and no strike. Here it comes. He tries to push bunt. Got him at first base. Well, that's good managing right there. They needed to move the base runner up, and the safest way to do that was with the sacrifice bunt. Up next, Luis Gonzalez. Intentional walk. Looks like they didn't want any part of that guy, Kai. Next at the plate, Troy Gloss. There's pitch. He hits the pitch to center. Base hit. Another hit given up by Cormier. Stepping in one for four, Sean Green. One out and the base is loaded. He tries to pick him off. Deep fly ball hit the left. The catch is made. The runner comes in to score on the sacrifice fly. It's a good job right there. That's good baseball. Sack fly the outfield, score the run, put an RBI in the scoreboard. Here's Chad Tracy. That ball is driven deep. This park may not be big enough to hold it. He slides in there for a two-base hit. Hey, he does a great job of knocking the run, and look at this, they're still threatening. Stepping in one for three, Scott Hairston. They're just flat out scared of this guy. They're gonna put him on and take the chances with the next guy. Stepping in one for four, Robbie Hammock. Takes the pitch down low. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. Two balls in one strike. Kind of looks to me like he's starting to lose command of his fastball. Yank to the left side. And he's out on the play at third. With one inning remaining, the score is seven to four. Okay, right-handed hitters have trouble really seeing off-speed stuff from right-handed pitchers. Let's see if that's the case here. This is it. They're going to have to create some offense in a hurry. Catch made by Green. Well, the hitter just put too much loft on that ball, partner. Giving the fielder ample time to stroll over and make the out. There's a strike swinging. Late on the fastball. Abreu watches a ball inside. He yanks a ground ball to the right side. Another single. At bat with a couple of singles, Jim Tomey. Kite, this runner can read pitches like nobody's business, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him try and steal a bag right here. Abreu is going. The throw does not reach its intended target. He got a great jump and stole second with ease.
That's an intentional walk. Looks to me like they're playing the percentages here. Up next with one single already, David Bell. Laid off that one for a ball. Right now would be a good time to move the middle infielders towards the bag at second to try and get that ground ball double play. He's on his way to the plate. A run comes in. He's on second with a double. Skipper's going to love that. Drive in one and set yourself up in scoring position for another. Coming in to run, Jason Michaels. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1 0. All you want to do right here is hit a ball to the outfield and cash in that runner at third. And they're down to their last out. Next up, Chase Utley. Tries to pick him off. Ball out of the zone. That was a purpose pitch. Fastball out of the zone, hoping the batter would chase. Better move. Pitch misses. Pitcher needs to throw a strike. It's 3 0. Ball four. Oh, partner, that's a terrible time to be walking hitters. Digging in, Kenny Lofton. With the speed this guy has, he's always a threat to steal a base. Line drive. And that's the end of the ball game. The win is picked up by Lance Cormier. Cormier gets hit with the loss. Greg Aquino picks up the save. The Arizona Diamondbacks win it by two.